Jeff Dunham gets head from his puppets. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a flashlight talk. <laughs> what? We need another drunk pod. Drunk pod? I'm sick of it. We need another fucking drunk pod. We can okay. do it after. Do you guys have anything? Do you guys have spots tonight? I do, dude. I just want to hibernate in the sleeping bag. I do not want to drink at all. I have right an ele- Oh, you don't want to? No. Oh, okay. I have 11 on flight. Listen, so if I didn't have hangovers, I would be a problem. I yeah. would be funneling Grey Goose through a Slim Jim. Dude, let me tell you a secret. If Adderall made me not the most least fucking uh, creative person in the world, I would be taking 100 of them a day. I feel awesome on them. Yeah. Except when people ask me to do anything creative, like, hey, like what do you think about the YouTube like, title? I'm like, uh, God. Yeah, I feel like my brain's on like cruise control. I like lock in. It's too locked. I can like feel it. I don't know the password and, and it's too locked. Yeah, my body's like, oh, this is a great feeling. And immediately, shit. You know what's weird? Iced coffee doesn't make me shit. Hot coffee does. Really? It's like iced coffee beats the system. Let me ask you this. Anytime I take a sip of coffee, a sip, which it scientifically doesn't make any sense. A sip. My asshole's like, release the hounds. Yeah. What is, but a sip, but it's not even in my bloodstream yet. It doesn't make any sense. I think it's just like a muscle memory thing. It's just associated. Your asshole is a muscle. Isn't that crazy? Can you make your asshole muscles stronger to keep doo doing there longer? <laughs> Isn't that Kegels? I think, but that's Kegels, uh, ass Kegels, I guess what I'm asking. If you do ass Kegels, can you keep <laughs> shit in there longer? Askkegels.com? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, what did you just pull up on your phone? Pornhub has YouTube shorts now. Wait, so they're Not like- YouTube shorts. But oh, I'm sorry. It's like yeah, a TikTok shorts. version. Yeah, yeah. But of age, you can just scroll and it's just- yeah, are they people thought. who make content or it's like editors? Do they have like the captions on it with the oh, Andrew Tate wow. music behind it? But what do you mean captions? Like, uh, uh, uh. No <laughs> ca- yeah, yeah. No captions yet, so we could um, wait. Like, we'll pull it up on the screen yeah, respectfully. Yeah, let me see. Unhornily. I don't know if you. And can how do long? It. Are wait they? a second. Oh, stop it! Pause. Who wait the fuck a is that? Second. Respectfully, who Dude, the fuck is this that? This is good. It's literally called Pornhub.com/shorties. Shorties is a good Shorties title. Is great. I'm going to sue them because that's my idea now and <laughs> I like it better than theirs. 100%. Shorties. Wait, the, the, I was nominated for a Shorties Award. When? Comedian of the Year 2020. Oh, I do I remember swear that. to God, yeah. During the pandy. Yeah. What are you fucking O facing over giving the O he go? What are you doing? The tail. Is that, Dude, I can't. I can't. That, is that Michael? It's too, Dude, it's, so it's you too just early for this. roll. So Hold does on. it learn? Can like, does does your algorithm get better? Yeah, it has. Yeah. It has a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do you know how horny you get to thumbs down? That's crazy, <laughs> right? Hold the on, second can you, you come, can you just go, thumbs down. Can you go Dude, back? I'm about to go crank down. down USA. Who is tonight. that? Can we just find out who that is, please? No Deville. All right, text. Just text me that. Just for you know research. You'll remember it. Yeah. I won't. I, sometimes I think I remember porn stars' name in my head. I'll be like, I'll like lock it out. I'll take a mental screenshot. I'm like, I remember her name. And then a day later, I was like. What's her name? Yeah, there's no way. Do you guys ever go on the uh, the porn stars, uh, like, the charts and, like, find a new person on the nah, charts? I don't. I'm always, I don't. I'm always a uh, algorithm I'm, guy. I like to see, like, sometimes you go top trending, and no, the, the, but, like, boring, not page one. Mid. I want to see who's, like, Give coming me 10. Up, You know what I mean? Give wait, me 10. Wait, where do you go? Hit you that go, like, 10. Farm League? Wait, yeah, I mean, this is... This is Hold on. Who... May, honestly... This, Maybe this, this is better page for me. Is good. This is good. When for their me. names That's start looking saying, like yeah. AOL logins, those are the hot names. I'm. S- do, you know what's funny is I didn't. I didn't jerk off last night, and I felt <laughs> proud you of gotta myself. You got to change this. I felt. Yeah, we're done. What did you I do instead? Do I li- I I went to sleep. But like but a normal that. human being. <laughs> but before you went to, before you close your eyes, I I'll tell you I landed right. Mm-hmm. I landed at whatever the fuck six p.m. I was so exhausted. Uh... And yeah, I just, I literally did laundry and I, and I made different kind of load. I get it. Fuck you. (laughs) I get it. That's the response I get. Also, we're matching. Like, unironically matching. Like, white shoes, black pants, gray t shirt. I got Chips Ahoy socks, though. I, what do you got? I don't know. Some brand, some socks. Okay. Yeah, I got Chips Ahoy socks. We are matching. Um, what was I saying? Edit in laughs. Oh. Wrong load. Wrong load. Uh, and order some food. And then I watched like one quarter Dude, bass. How good? <laughs> how good is Postmates when you just got home from a flight? Dude, what is that? I don't know. Well, yeah, it's just like I don't have to do anything and you just sit oh, in it. God. Dude, it's so. What is your order? 
from where? <laughs> oh, oh no, no, I'm just saying like when you when you like land, do you not have like a go to spot? No. That you order from? What do you do? If I'm feeling like a piece of shit, that I go deep dish pizza, gluten free. There's a place that just fucking oh that nailed, goes in Detroit style pizza. They just nailed De- it on the head. Detroit style pizza. Well, yeah. They have made it with a gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go see him live, Royal Oak, Michigan. <laughs> oh shit, you're right. April 27th, we just added a show. Um, what am I saying? And you should also add bulletproof vest. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit pizza is phenomenal. It's but like it's like deep dish Detroit. with uh, crispier edges. It, it okay. actually, I think I just realized Chicago style pizza. Not Uh-oh. good? Question mark. Oh, I was gonna say, I some is. I did the, the. I was in Chicago doing shows last week, and I ordered deep dish pizza for the first time in my entire where? life. From where? Mm-hmm. I don't know. They did it. I don't remember. Who's they? AI? <laughs> no, the people who work there. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. Dude, some places are good, but like. Dude, it was fucking crazy. It was so good. It's hit or miss for me. Some is like oh. unbelievable. Yeah. Some you're like, this is a Campbell's soup and bread. It was sort of like that, but I liked it. Mm. It was like, but then it had Detroit like. Detroit style. Pull up a photo of Detroit style. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know what it looks like. It's square and the sides are like crispy with cheese. If you bring a picture of Eminem, I'll laugh for 12 minutes. <laughs> I bet Eminem eats the fuck out of the vagina. M- oh my god. Oh my god. That's blah, blah, blah. Dude, that's Detroit Salt Pizza. It's square and the and the edges are like crispy like that. Like, oh that dude, dude, it's... dude. I love when the uh when the, the pepperoni, pepperoni goes is... sheep. It what looks like that? a fucking ramp. I don't know. Yeah. Like a half pipe ramp. The pepperonis are pepped out. Yeah, and it's got the little oil pool in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck! Yeah. I just ate and I'm hungry. What is I just what's ate. your go-to post in order? Uh dude. I don't want to yell about this man with an eye patch. A man with an eye patch? We'll get it. What's your post in order? Oh great. I have something to yell about too. Great. The fucking New York show. Oh. <laughs> um what? <laughs> your go-to oh, post in order? Oh, oh, when you coming oh, home? Oh, yeah, I get this place called it's called COD. C O D, not Call of Duty. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, waiting. <laughs> um, uh, crispy, they had this in, insane, insane tuna crispy rice that I get on the side. I get that on the side. And then there's this like beef, Shanghai beef, and it has like this fucking onion. I don't know what the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. It's so good, dude. Yeah, I usually go, I, do you know, I'll just get like Habit Burger. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. fucking phenomenal. That's good. I just go a real piece of shit down the middle, or Fat Burger, I think. Yeah. Usually just like a fulfilling, like, Oh, I'll feel like shit after this because mm-hmm. I'm already tired. So I just slump it into one. I every time I get off the road though, I've been eating like shit. So I try to be like, yeah. I can't order another bro. <laughs> Dog, I got two cities in a row last excuse me, sorry, last weekend. Taco Bell. Two nights in a row. Yeah. Because well, you get I mean, done the shows, you're like, where the fuck am I gonna go? Morning, yeah. Dog. I mean, it I mean, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Taco Bell, this is not a hot take. Oh, is you say, so not good. <laughs> It's uh, so good. What do you get from Taco Bell, though? They're called, uh, they're called, like, I love when you like explain normal them. things. I know, I know. But you were describing beef skewers, and you're like, yo, the fucking, it's like beef, and, uh, it's got, like, an onion. No, uh, uh, is it, no, no, what, oh, uh, cheese crunch? crunch? No. That's the only right crunch answer. Wrap su- crunch Supreme. wrap supreme. Crunch wrap supreme. No, those are good, too, but I don't, uh, um. If I was a mom with Chalupa. kids, I would only eat Chalupa. Crunch wrap Supremes. Chalupa, is that the one with the, the, the hard, the, the, the soft one. Uh, the soft shell, but it's kind of thick. Yeah, it's like Fuck. doughy almost. Yes, yes, yes. Those yes. are great, dude. And I, those get, are I, great. I get, I get, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you one of those and run for office. Those are great. Oh, are those it? Is that mm. it? Oh no, this is a knockoff. That's a vegan one. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can make a crunch out at home. I want to do it. I've put, done that. Put Taco and Bell, Daddy. Good. So good. Yep, yep. That's yeah. it. And I get, yeah. I get one steak and one, uh, one chicken, and then it comes with a, it comes with a. And then um, you eat it with a fork and knife and watch The Godfather nine parts. Maybe I would. Oh, but it, then but it comes with a hard taco as well. I don't get the regular uh, one. I get the wait. Dorito one. Oh, what? oh no, okay, yes. Yeah, I get the Dorito one and I get it supreme. Fuck, yeah, and I get yeah. a bottle of water and I call my wife a whore bag. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> Talk about is phenomenal, dude. It's it's never not good. Oh, you ever had Bojangles? I've heard great things, but there's nothing on it. Like you can't go to Bojangles, but can I get gluten free? And they're oh, like, gluten shit. free. You're right. Yeah. No, no, sir. It's, it's fucking southern. chicken, and it's so good. When I was in, I've uh, heard the biscuits are insane. Jude, dude, 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 bo, dude. bo budget, something biscuits. Oh my bo god, Bowberry biscuits, and then they also have a uh, good tea. Dude, the tea's great. The yeah, um, I can't eat anything from there. Oh, the uh, the chicken sandwich, dude. 
Holy bitch tits. You know what's a crazy underrated chicken sandwich is Jack in the Box. Not the one on the $1 oh. menu, but that one that's like a $6 one, whatever the fuck. It's like the, uh, you know, the uh, the uber black of chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Phenomenal. Really? Jack in the Box is very good. I People hate shit on, on all the time when you bring it up. <laughs> but maybe I should go have the chicken sandwich. I never well, had it. It's like a drug front for sure, but yeah. when they be whipping it up back there. Are they doing good? <laughs> I mean, their mascot is <laughs> a fucking a ping pong ball with a traffic cone on his head. <laughs> I don't know. I've always loved Jack. Their ranch is great. They give you cold ranch. <laughs> Dude, the Jack, what is the Jack in the Box logo? He always that, sounds that, like he's like in a fucking a, arranged marriage or like a divorce <laughs> about to happen. Yeah, come to Jack. What do you come to Jack? Come on, Jack. Yeah, I I big fan. Curly fries, great. Curly fries are underrated. A man had a stroke at your show. Oh, let's talk about. I mean, the just real. get to it. God damn. Trevor Wallace Comedy, Irvine this Thursday is sold out, but we have a lot of SoCal dates, don't you fret. Ontario, April 4th, following Thursday. Brea, that is April 11th, and then Long Beach, April 25th. And then the rest of the tour, I'm going to fire these off, so if you hear it, go check my website, trevorwallscomedy.com. San Francisco in May, Salt Lake City in May, Miami, Florida in June, Sacramento in June, Portland in July, Lexington in August, Nashville in August, Tampa, Florida in September. Tempe, new date is October 11th through the 13th. Mm -hmm. If you had tickets for the one in September, the same tickets apply. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Come see the new shit, and I yell about things. Michael Blaustein, where are you at? Um, This Friday, March 29th, I will be in Portland. First show sold out. The second show is very close to selling out, so go get your tickets. March 30th, the next freaking day, Seattle. Both shows are sold out. I love you guys. Uh, Vancouver sold out. Uh, Guys, April 12th, Niagara Falls, okay? We're doing oh. a freaking big thing. Theater, me, Jessica, freaking Hannah Burner. Go get tickets. Uh, April 13th, Uncasville. You got it. Boy, what's good? It. Mohegan Sun Arena. First time your boy's doing an arena with the same three headliners. Go get tickets. Those are selling out fast. Albany, Aldo sold out. I love you. April 18th to the 20th, I'll be in San Jose, California. Uh, April 25th to 26th, I'll be in Fort Wayne, Indiana. April 27th, I'll be in uh, Royal Oak, Michigan. And then I'll just yell them off like Trev does. Uh, we got Seattle. We have uh, Charlotte, Austin, Miami, New York City, August 9th. That is the rescheduled date. Go get tickets. There's a few left. And then uh, October 18th, I'll be in Pittsburgh. And many, many more dates coming at you very soon. Blockcomedy.com, blockcomedy.com. Goddamn. This episode is sponsored by PXG. All right. Pup, 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 pup. Golfers, let me tell you something, okay? You know PXG is on a mission to create the most high-quality, high-performance golf clubs in the game. I have some. They are incredible. But, yeah. dude, they're bringing the same passion for excellence to their new line of apparel. And I got to say, dude, they freaking nailed it. They send Trev and I some. I literally played golf about two days ago, and I wore one of the shirts. This is what I hate about golf apparel, okay? It's not stretchy enough, and it sticks to my freaking shoulders because I yeah. get jacked shoulders, and I, so I have to yank up on the shoulders all the shirts every single time. These do not do that, okay? It, they're, it's made from, like, high-quality stuff. It's incredible. They also have, like, everything. They got pants, polos, sweaters, hats, quarter zips, joggers, jackets, dresses, skirts. I crushed that read. You they did. really have everything you could ever want, and honestly, I don't know if you've been to a golf course lately. The fashion's out here. Buddy! Like, golf fashion's, like, up, and there's a lot of, like... Like, it's fun because I used to think in my head it had to be shorts and a polo, but now yeah. you can get some, like, nice, kind of, like, comfortable, like, athletic slacks yeah. with some, like, lo like corduroy. Like, I'm comfortable golfing. Dude, they sent us this, like, vintage-looking shirt, which I wore to play golf, and I had to go meet my girl for dinner, and I literally just wore that shirt, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel like I was wearing I golf shit. she thought you were hotter because you were wearing it. Is that That's true? That's what she said. Yeah. She was like, PXG, what does it stand for? Penis extra girth? Golf front. We'll go with yours. Elevate your style game on and off the course with the PXG Spring Summer 2004 Collection. Head over to pxg.com slash socks and use code SOCKS at checkout and save 10% on our apparel. That is pxg.com slash socks and use code SOCKS at checkout. Save 10% off apparel. Guys, just freaking do it. It's incredible stuff. Yeah, dude, and next you time hot. you drive a ball into somebody's house in their window and they go, who the fuck hit this? You go, I did, sir. He goes, God damn, that's a nice jacket. And then you forget about it. And then you guys kiss. Yeah. Yep. pxg.com slash socks. Use code SOCKS at checkout. God damn.
All right, so I'm in New York. Really excited about this show. Really excited. Yeah, okay? big deal. Uh, big you deal. used to do stand-up comedy in New York. You used to hand out flyers. Yeah. Hey, come see me do three minutes of time. Big chapter in the life. Big chapter in life. I used to literally pass out flyers in front of that building. To that used to be an intern at. That I used to be. I saw your, inter your Instagram story. Thanks, man. Yeah, 1515 Broadway used to be, it's still like a Paramount building, but it used to be the MTV building. That's where I came for the first time to do an MTV internship right when I fucking moved to New York. Right, so I was and like, "That's where the theater was." That's where the theater was, dude. And I was like, and I didn't even know this. So at that night when I landed, me and my videographer, we went over there to take a picture of the the marquee, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, "Holy fuck, dude! Yep. This is." It was just some crazy, crazy moment. And I remember you had that in, you, in uh, the LA, Novo, the Novo downtown at Los Angeles. Yeah. It was LA Live right across the street from All Def Digital, yes. where I used to work at. Yes, same thing. Same exact thing. Right? Crazy, crazy. Yeah. I, as soon as I put like, it again, I, I thought about you. I can't picture myself sitting at that desk, knowing one day. Yeah. What's on the other side? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Dude, it's it's fucking phenomenal. Dreams do come true, or they don't. Um, Man had a stroke. Yeah, so I'm- He's alive. <clears throat> he's alive. Um, so next day is the show. I'm super fucking stoked, right? Uh, the, and the show stars, whatever. Everything's going fucking phenomenal, dude. My, my buddy uh, Neil fucking Ghost, really funny comic. He ripped it. My other buddy Case Rosso, funny comic. He fucking ripped it, right? So I go up there, and, and then I start, dude, and I'm like 10 minutes into crowd work. And dude, you know when just everything's- Cooking, yeah. like it's cooking. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I holding fucking laugh pistols? Pa 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 pa. I mean, I it's like just it. everything, dude. I called this guy. I said this guy looks like an unfinished sketch. I don't know where the fuck that came from, good. dude. Did it was good. Have the clip? Huh? You, you have the clip? Oh, I got the clip. Oh, oh, oh I'm dro I'm dropping. Cancel the show. <laughs> So, oh, I'm, I'm, it's, I got to figure out if I'm going to drop the clips because there's like three clips. It doesn't matter. So, but yeah, promote the new date with that clip. Yeah. Oh, by the way, new date's coming soon. Okay. I'm going to finish the story. No, you got the clip. You're good. <laughs> Just cancel the show. Kidding, 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 kidding. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, okay. So, 10 minutes in. Yeah. Unfinished cooking, sketch. Cooking. Cooking. Right? Then all of a sudden, everybody, it's a theater, 1,200 fucking people. The music just. Turns on. And what song is it? 50 Cent. <laughs> Which for New York, you're like, uh, all right. Isn't he New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very New York. Like the most New York. So it comes Did on. Did you come on to that or that was just queued up? It was just, it was just, I don't know where it came from. Right? Okay. So we queued, and that's another thought because when it came up, I'm like, this is not even on my playlist. Yeah. What song was it? Uh, Many man. No, it was, it was like, it was like a kind of, not Genius. that. It was like a club banger. What? I forget which one it was. Dude. But, what? but it starts coming up, right? And immediately Loud. I start riff, dude, full volume. Not even like, oh, oh, is that a, is that music happening? Full volume, dude. I thought it was like, you know, I thought it was like there was a club next to us and yeah. like the wires got crossed or some shit. Full volume. So immediately I just start fucking dancing, right? Okay. Just like kind of stupidly dancing. Clip it. And clip it. Copyright, and everybody can't use it. And, and everybody is. One, I'm thinking everyone thinks this is a fuck up. Then I go, oh, people think, think this, this is a music act. cue, dog. Yes. So I'm dancing, and then some fucking round, whatever. And after like 30 seconds, which right, is a which long is time, an eternity, then my mic is still on. So then I start riffing. I start going like, I'm starting dancing and I'm saying this in a sing-songy way, but I'm like, everyone's gonna get fired. I'm never coming back here again. Turn like, this off. Turn this What's off. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. What's happening, blah, 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 right? And then, and then like, I'm having fun with it. I'm still getting laughs. People are still in it, right? And then we're talking, then it goes to the next song. Hey guys, I don't know how, if you know like how long music is, but- we're call, we're talking minimum two minutes. Dude, imagine they had like a Pandora commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been good. Yeah. So, and then like this. Want a break from the ads? <laughs> the second song comes on, and I'm still kind of like dancing. I'm still like riffing, kind of having fun with it. But in the no, back of my head, dude, I'm like, you made it way longer, probably because you were doing well. I think if I was bombing or not bombing, but like I think if I the show was like whatever, and I just got started, I would be furious. Oh, I. I was mad, but I'm like, I'm 10 minutes in. I can't like, whatever, right? So I'm dancing, I'm dancing. And I'm talking about like, I get through half of the next song and I'm like fucking around with the music. So it's like not, it's not like dead silent, but I'm getting to a I point where I'm like, footage. oh yeah, I mean, I can show you. I'm getting to a point where I'm like, what's happening? And then dude, and then 
I start telling people I'm going to, I start telling the, the, the venue, I'm going to get my money back. I'm just like, I'm literally not paying full price for this fucking venue, like whatever. And I'm doing yeah. it in a funny way. But, but then as I'm fucking around, dude, someone runs into the stage, someone who's at the show runs into the stage. It's a high stage too. And he goes, and I'm like, and I'm like, he goes, and he goes, yo, yo, come here, Mike. And I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, I'm going to get stabbed. I go down, I go down and listen to him. He goes, he goes, yo, um, the sound guy is having a heart attack. So he, the guy didn't work there? Somebody from Someone the audience? From, well, dude, could, because, because- Get, in, get in, your money back. Because, dude, in Next the, time you go there, yeah. free show. In the riff, I'm like, can someone tell me what's happening? And, and, and to- there, the venue's crazy. By the way, no, no shame the venue. The venue is fucking no, awesome. No, fuck the venue. Everyone, <laughs> this, the venue's awesome. Everyone's it? work there is awesome. No, it really was. Right. Everyone's work there is awesome. Um, <laughs> but, but to, to like, they're, uh, they were giving the dude CPR. It's like, so no one was worried oh. about telling me what the fuck was happening. Oh. Like, it was a commotion, but there's lights and stuff, so I can't see anything. That's crazy. So then I'm like, so he's then I'm having I, a seizure to G unit. No, what? Dude. Wait a <laughs> shit. What? But not a seizure. He's having a heart attack. Oh, heart attack. Oh, I, I'm, we're going to get there. Okay. He's alive though, right? Yeah. He's good, alive. Good, good, he's good. alive. He's alive. Um, so he's having a heart attack. Right. And, and then I just, then I, after the, the audience tells tells what happened, I go back to the mic and there's again, guys, it is a lot of people in New York and we are in Times Square. It's a very sensitive place, obviously. I, if I was in a crowd and something happened like this, I'd be like, tell me what the fuck is going on. Yes. So I have to go to the mic and I have to be like, all right, guys, I have to like put words together that are not like uh, going to make everyone freak out and leave, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, like, guys. And how guys, did you do that? I go, all right, I go, I, <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so I go, I go, all right, guys, listen, I have a gun. I have, no, I'm like, I'm like, all right. Um, there's an emergency happening with the with the with the sound guy. Everything's fine. I repeat, like literally everything is fine. Just stay seated. We'll wait till the the emergency is handled. Then the show will start again. Are we cool. And everyone goes, yeah, okay, cool. So I leave. And I'm you like, still look like an unfinished sketch. <laughs> I'm like, You're still ugly. So I get off stage and I'm like, dude, I'm like, I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm like, like it's every a, emotion, dude. Possible. It's a surreal moment because I'm telling you, I just went from. This is a place where I used to do internships. The show sold out. I'm so fucking excited. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm doing the show. It's going great. And then all of a sudden, the music, yeah. I'm, I don't know what the fuck's happening. So I go in the green room and and I'm there for like- Were you with me in Royal Oak when we did Michigan? Yeah. Where the person passed out off edibles? Yes. Yeah. So I had the yes. same thing happen. So yes. <clears throat> I yes. know this feeling, but so you're in the green room. So I'm in the green room, right? And, and I'm how like- How long are you waiting in the green room? I'm in the green room for- Maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. Okay. Do you go off? I try to. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't get that hard, but I try to. Um, but the, you needed Pornhub shorties. I had to, dude. <laughs> dude, honestly, this Pornhub shorties thing—it's it's, dangerous. It's, no, no, it's going to collapse the economy. <laughs> it's over. Russia's going to win. It's over. This is all this stuff that they give us. It's Russia. It's it's Russia and China. Is it? Also, TikTok is going to go under. Good. Good. Here's the thing. I'm at 9.9. .9 I'm like, get me to 10 mil. And I'm like, that's all I want. Let me let me cross that line. And then I can be like, I did it. But yeah. until then, I'm like, fucking <laughs> stop shadow banning me. <laughs> Dude, I had a video of muted the other day. I asked my TikTok rep. I'm like, uh, hey, I appealed. How long should I leave it up? And they're like, oh, about 48 hours to 72 hours. I'm like, oh, so everybody just knows that I look like a loser <laughs> for three days. Anyways. So I'm in the back of the green room. So I'm freaking out. People like the the venue is coming to me. Like the dude who uh, like is a manager. He comes to me and he's like in a kind of a panic because the sound guy's like his friend. Yeah, of course. So he's coming to me. He's like, uh, so so he's 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 the, the MCs are working on him. Um, but like uh, after we have this, like, what do you want to do? And I go and I go. I, I need to process. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I get on the phone uh, with my agent. I'm like fucking FaceTiming him. Um, or I I call. Oh. You'll love this. I call him. He's on a plane, right? So he keeps asking me, yo, I'm on a plane. Uh, how land. can I? How, I'm like, I don't know. Hit a building and land because I need some help. So then he he hits your agent up, Marcus. Marcus FaceTimes me. So now yes. I'm talking to, yes. I know Marcus really well, but he's your agent. So I'm talking to Marcus yeah, and yeah. he's walking me through everything. And I'm like, dude, I don't really know what to do. Like, I think, 
I think we can. I think I can go back on there and make make like a joke or two, and then get back into it. And it's yeah, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Once it, the crowd knows everybody's okay, they're yeah. like, "Oh, we're good to go." Correct. So we're having that conversation. I go, "Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool." Right? I hang up the FaceTime. My fucking my one of my openers, Neil Ghosh, he fucking texts me and goes, "Someone is having a seizure." I'm gonna stop right there, guys. <laughs> Someone else. Someone else. First of all, if I'm the guy having a heart attack, I'm pissed. Why are you trying to take my spotlight? Oh, uh, first of all, 100%. <laughs> and turn the 50 cent back up. I'm pissed. Um, but as soon as the timing of it is a little humorous, they get the gentleman out that that is having a, Oh, a while heart the attack. EMTs left. They, dog, but this is the timing. They left. And then as soon as they left, this other uh, lady had Say a seizure. <laughs> no, had a seizure, right? Uh and so they had to she's call. She's okay. She's okay. She had to call the the her reaction to all this is very funny. So they they called. They had to call another ambulance. And they, uh, you guys they, mind doing a U turn? <laughs> the ambulance goes another one, and they go, yeah, bring another one. So then when I get word that there's a seizure, yeah, I hit the I hit Marcus back up the agent. And I go, yeah, we're not doing this. Like I'm not. We we can't. And how long has the show been stopped since then? Over an hour. What? Over an hour. Oh yeah. 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 I mean. Okay. Wow. Like the thing is, I. Oh, by the way, with the 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 the, the girl that uh, had a seizure, she's totally fine. She came back online, and she said, "What they, did you just say?" Well, I don't know. <laughs> she had a hard reboot. <laughs> well, you know, I know what, what I mean? it seems like, right? When she, having a you had to fucking take her out and <laughs> <laughs> on her <laughs> like a like a Mario N64, Kart car. Yeah. yeah. Came um, back online. She like. So the funny thing is. The, the EMTs and everything were like, okay, now you have to go to the hospital. And she goes, no, I'm staying. I want to see the show. <laughs> uh, well, ma'am, it's been four days. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fucking gangster shit. Oh, it is. Are you kidding well, me? I, of course. Well, it's like anytime somebody like, the amount of people that wake up in an ambulance and go, oh, fuck, dude, this is $10,000. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 right. no. I would have been fine. Let me out. <laughs> yeah, let me, literally. Yeah, somebody yeah. be like, hey, I'm going to call an ambulance. Don't do that. No. Uber. <laughs> X. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So. So. Anyway, wow. dude. I, like, so, what is the crowd doing for this hour? The, I mean, I'm not out there, but like Neil keeps checking, and they're dude. They like they. I felt so bad because uh, like they all stayed. Yeah. And they wanted a show, but I mean, you know, we like we made the call, but like you know, I was talking to the venue, and like I just I just felt like after two like very serious emergencies. Yeah. I like. It's just, I mean, the venue was pushing me not to do, I just like, I was like, yo, I can't. And it was like ultimately my call, but I just was like, after all of that, like I I, I just felt, it's not the right headspace. It felt, the room for me honestly felt like a bit, I don't even want to use the word unsafe, but it was just like, yeah, just, it it, it felt, um, it, it honestly felt disrespectful. To be like, all right, guys, and now here's a show. It's like a gentleman had a gentleman had a like that actually worked at the venue. He had a heart attack, and then the lady had seats. I'm like, this is like very, it, it, yeah. It's just like it's like after a funeral, being like, hey, you guys want to hear some jokes? You're like, what's happening? I do. <laughs> I mean, I guess I do too. <laughs> but but anyways, but it, well, it would have gone both ways because you're gonna go back, you're gonna do a show, it's gonna be great. Yeah. And it's like my redemption arc in Plano. It all goes back. When I did the shows in the Marriott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hated it. Uh-huh. And then I did Dallas, and it was like untouchable, best show I think I've ever done in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. Yeah. So you're going to go back. You're going to have a great show. That's redemption arc. Had you done the show, people's takeaway would be, like, dude, how was Michael Blossom's show on, on Friday? They'd be like, it was cool, but like there was like all this stuff and this and that. Now it's like, yeah. They're like, I don't know if I want to see this guy again. But it's, it, well, there's no right or wrong way because either way, you're going to get people unhappy. Which sucks. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And like you know that that whole thing too. It's like I, uh, you know, I like I a lot of DMs from people being like, oh, I I flew in. Yeah, or, I sent you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like like this. I drove six hours. I'm super yeah. excited. And then to do that to people feels really really wrong. But it also felt as equally wrong to to do a show after. Well, all it's that. just crazy to put all this on the performer. I know. You're like I, I don't. I, I I just want to, I don't know. No, I hear you. It's like, I we, well, I mean, they Everyone's all looking there for at you. a show. I know. And it's like, <clears throat> everybody yelled at Travis Scott because he didn't stop the show. You stopped the show. You took care of everything. 
and now they're like, all right, now you're calling. Like, why is this on me? I know. I just want to. I just want to do jokey joke, foot foot, come come. I know. That's literally the name of my second special. Is it really? <laughs> well, I gotta cross that off. <laughs> um, uh, it's a lot of pressure on there. Yeah, but it, but I hear you, man. It felt like there's no every, right. There's no there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, but everyone was like, "Did you get any DMs being like, what the fuck?" No, no, no. Everyone was That's so also, fucking nice, dude. Yeah. Well, because when I when I put the like the apology thing on on uh like how many takes was that? <laughs> Oh, dog. 11? Yeah, I teared up. 11, dog. No, that looks sincere. And it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, I mean, there's no right or wrong. But, like, everybody who was there saw what happened. It's not like yeah. an hour before the show, you're like, yo, sound guy to see you. They're like, what are you even talking yeah, about? Yeah, they yeah, They experienced yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. the people that are, like, going through their story and be like, I never thought I'd post this, but a vocal rest and... The flight altitude, <laughs> and I just can't. And I want the best shit possible. Like, dude, yeah. shut up. Anxiety. They, yeah, yeah, but they saw you on stage yeah. doing it. Yeah. So it's not like this was your fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, that's, that's what everyone's DMs were about. And it was like, they're really nice. It's like, because, dude, my, like, I had a, I had family there. Like, I had a lot of people. Oh, really? Yeah. And like, oh, and. Uh, it's like, a, it's a massive play. It's New yeah, York City. It's yeah. a Friday night. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was. It was a, just a weird you, turn, could bro. Could you imagine if you're like, I'm a, you know what? Everybody go outside. I'm going to do stand up on the street. And they're like, ah, we're good. We're, yeah, we're good. We'll wait till reschedule. We're good. Um, wow. Yeah, it was. So. Anyway, anyways, whoever's listening that was at the New York show, thank you so much for coming. We are releasing a new date in like a day or two. So just um, stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, and it bring was, your life alert. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay though, right? He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. God damn. Guys, this is Trevor Wallace, and you're like, you know, I've heard so much of Stiff Socks, and for me, every time I listen to a podcast I love and I go, I wish there's more, often there is. And luckily for you guys, there is. Yeah. We have a Patreon, and I know the word gets thrown out a lot. Let me break it down real quick. Every Friday, there's a bonus one-hour episode. There's no yeah. ads. It's the same episode, silliness, goofiness, but n like a select audience gets to hear it, and we get to say wild shit on there because, yeah. you know, certain people don't listen. That's what I'm saying. We get exclusive. The, the feds. Buddy? The CIA people? Yeah. Guy who's never been on the earth? Yes. CIA people? CIA people. But we say crazy stuff because we feel as though the community, these are our highest fans, and, you know, it's a guarded wall. So we can say more wild stuff, more wild stuff. So go patreon.com backslash Sifflox pod. And that episode also comes out on Apple, Apple Plus. If you yep. go, if you listen to Apple Podcasts at the very top, there's a blue button, which you can try for free. You can try a month for free. It's the audio episode. There's no video, but they're working on that. But it's, it's still the audio. If you drive a lot, it's fucking perfect. Just throw it on. I listen to it every Friday. Um, I, it, it, a lot of times it's fun because I forget about like, oh shit, I can't believe we're yelling about that. It's good. It's fun. Yeah. Sip Socks Plus and uh, Patreon.com backslash Sip Socks Pod. Go get it and you'll be supporting your boys. So that is it. On to the beeping episode. God damn. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, I feel like. I feel like after like I saw how the people working the venue, how they were talking to me, I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. Like they were just like, what do you mean? Well, because it was like their friend, right? Of course. And they were like, they were being. Yeah, they all worked together for like thirty years. Yeah. Every it's all theater, union venue. And, yeah, yeah. Every theater I did was a mixture of like either brand new people working box office, or it's like this is Hank. He's been running the sound for thirty five yeah. years. He invented the ukulele. And like, oh, holy shit! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm I'm glad everybody's okay. And I mean, yeah, you'll go back and you'll do the show. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. But yeah, it was like it was just such a <clears throat> it was just such a unique experience. Obviously, because it's like kind of like a homecoming show, and there was like I don't know, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to do yeah. well. And it was you like also this have big to get thing. new openers for your new New York show. <laughs> no, but think about it because if the same people come back, they're like, oh, these guys again. <laughs> Oh, you know what's funny? I'm literally have to tell them to do new stuff. They have to do new stuff where you got to get yeah. new people. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's in New York. I won't have a problem. But yeah, that's I didn't even think about oh, that. Right. But like, Fuck. if the show's in a month, they're like, hey, we're <laughs> Sam Michael again. They're like, wait. <laughs> I do the same crowd work. <laughs> the same. Where's the sketch guy? <laughs> yeah, you, pick hey, up, yeah. you pick up where you left off. Oh, that shit. Is, how are the rest of the shows? You did Atlanta and... Dude, Charleston after? Yeah, the two shows in Atlanta were so fucking fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the Charleston, dude, I damn you this about the about the um, Charleston venue, dude. The venue was so good. Yeah, you're doing a lot of the same good, venues. Dude. So yeah. it's like, cool to see, like, when I see those photos you post, I'm like, oh, no, fucking, I was there. I yeah. It's, it's also nice, too, because I can be like, how did you like the venue? Like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I had some. But yeah, dude, the, the, the Atlanta shows were so fun, but the, the, Charleston, the, the Charleston show was bananas, dude. I love that Like, one. people were yelling out stuff. 
in like a very, they were like funny shit. Yeah. Some woman yelled out, I learned how to suck dick because of you. And I said, everyone stop. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I go, there everyone was, stop. <laughs> sometimes, what you mean? sometimes crowds are hilarious. Yeah. I still got to clip this, but Fort Lauderdale, this guy yelled pussy and it became like a running yeah. joke throughout the show. There's, I have so many weekends that I just need to look back the footage at. Yeah. Was that a sentence? I got it. Look back the footage at. <laughs> Am I having a heart attack? <laughs> Um, I had a question. I don't know. Maybe you covered this. Did the did he put the music on because he was like in oh, the sound booth and no. he was like, "This is the only way to signal." No, I I was Cheeky. told that his his arm like hit it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. What if it just started playing porn loud as hell? <sighs> what if it starts playing that song "Heart Attack"? <laughs> Met her on the dance floor. Oh, that's not. I don't like that's that. not good. I don't like that. <laughs> maybe we keep that. Nah, maybe we don't. Uh, edit around. Make Jack say it. <laughs> Um, yeah, but what, a, uh, but yeah, Atlanta was cool. Charleston was great. Um, I'm so tired. My voice is literally at negative 4,000. Oh, good thing you have a night of rest. <laughs> so Where are you at next weekend? Uh, Cleveland. I have a, a, <laughs> a college Marquette, Michigan, which I didn't even know was a th real thing. Great at basketball. No, that's Marquette. Like that's, it, that's Chicago. There's two Marquettes. Yeah. That's what blows my mind. There's two Ohio University. One of which, no, there's two Miami universities. Yeah. One of which in Ohio. But is it Miami, Ohio? Miami of Ohio. I yeah, think. but is it like is the is the city Miami in Ohio? I no. Mean. So why is it in Miami? Whoa. Why is uh, it in Miami? It's in Oxford, Ohio. Yeah, I so did someone, I did that college. Huh. Someone explain to me. Why I the only fuck know is it from an action Bronson line. It's fucking Ohio. But why are the Miamis in there? Because it's a nice name. <laughs> Charge more? What would you rather, Miami or Columbus? Honestly, Christopher? Columbus? He didn't even discover America. No. But why did everyone tell us that when he we He literally kids? was the guy who, somebody said a joke and then he repeated it louder. I hate that guy. I fucking hate that funny how Christopher Columbus wasn't a good guy, was a real weird, uh, uh, like, story arc later on in life. Like, wait, hold on. When we this guy's a piece of shit. Well, he didn't discover America, and he was a piece of shit. Was everyone a piece of shit back in the day? Yeah, bro. If you're a part of the Pilgrims, yeah, oh yeah, they're what was happening there? You know what I mean? You know how to what make just, butter? That's it. Isn't that crazy? They didn't have to fight for the algorithm. They had to fight for their life. I mean, literally, the the grizzly bears were the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. It's if you had one funny friend. That's your algorithm. And then one day, the grizzly bear, swipe, swipe, he's yeah. dead. Oh, my algorithm is just the food now. You know what? There was no TV. They had plays. No. They had plays you with puppets. I was thinking about, thinking about, like, when we... Do you think Jeff Dunham gets head from his puppets? <laughs> <laughs> he makes a flashlight talk. Yeah, right. You've never done that? On the road, lonely? Just takes one of the puppets, shoves a fucking yeah, flashlight oh in the mouth? Are you kidding me? Fifth of gym beam deep, just like... <laughs> I always knew you loved me. <laughs> Him in like a psych ward would be a really funny sketch. And I, I hope he's doing well. He's doing, sir, he's doing unfucking believable. Was it my show or your show? Mine. Oxnard. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to do five minutes. Seven. Five of like a Didn't bit even show up. Yeah, that's crazy. Just a no call, <laughs> no show. Wait, you agreed to it and then he didn't show? Yep. They were I like, said, would I you said, yeah, care if good. Jeff Dunham did like five on the show? And it's like, yeah, of course you're going to say yeah. You can't like, say no. What a, what a, also, it's a cool cameo. Yeah, we saw Michael live. Dude at a puppet. <laughs> Dude, imagine getting a roadhead by <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, by the way, no shade of Jeff Dunham. My man, he's fucking hilarious and his career is un goddamn believable. Oh, so yeah. He's doing something right. Yeah, he he's one of those guys that you're like, man, what's he up to these days? Oh, I don't know. Selling tickets. Oh. Special on sir, specials. Sir, tick like because like county can, fair type shit. Yes, because you can work clean, dog. So we can have a show at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. 4 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I met a guy at the Laugh Factory with an eye patch. Not like a pirate one, but an like, iPad? I yeah. Over his eye. <laughs> no, it was literally like a white piece of gauze tape over his left eye. And I was like, oh, what's going on there? And he goes, I don't want to talk about it. I was like, well, we do. Yeah, so, you got you got to talk about it. What's happening? Was he at my New York show? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I just thought that was so interesting. Big. I don't want to talk about it. All right, man. Well, um, everybody here does. Yeah, you have Every, an iPad. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. There couldn't be a more 
What? I think any other injury, I'd be like, oh, whatever. They probably slipped, fell, whatever they did, you know, went to Michael Blast on show. Yeah. So for <laughs> me, I'm like, that's a specific one. Yeah, I would just start listing things. Arrow, raccoon, <laughs> pogo stick. <laughs> pogo stick Uncle to the pasta. eye. Pogo stick to the eye is crazy. Dude, How does that happen? You know what I was thinking about? <clears throat> as of right now. <laughs> All right. If you don't have legs and you detach <laughs> legs on it, couldn't you detach pogo sticks? Oh, attach pogo sticks on there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It'd be a fun living. Dude. Bye. You just pull up to basketball court, but like in like a like sweat so nobody knows. Oh, dude. And just pogo stick. Alley hoop. Oh, so fun. Why is the sound of a chain that sounds so much better than a uh, what net? Nylon? Nylon? Yeah. <laughs> so cool. I don't know, dude. There's nothing sad on somebody hooping with a basketball with no net. A swish is just that. Sucks. That. Sucks. Did you make it? I don't know. Who honestly, when it's when it's dim outside, I said dim. When it's dim outside and there's no net, you have no idea. Oh god. And there's like these moms or whatever. They, oh, remember the pandemic? Yeah, no, I do. Bitches. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe if you fucking enunciated, I would have heard your shit joke, Michael. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't I don't I didn't hear what you said. Oh, you just said remember the pandemic, and I said, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. But I'm just saying they were like trying to ban like any outside sports. So there's people cutting the net at basketball hoops. Oh bullshit! Yeah, and then they put the wood. Yeah. Don't do that. I'm not showing with the ball. Like, oh man. What the? First of all, let me play basketball. Do dogs think a I'm dog park is the club? Yeah. Right. Yeah, they do. Bro, That's where they get bitches. Literally. <laughs> we're matching outfits. <laughs> this but, like, is nuts. Nice. Like, they probably get so excited to, like, smell a familiar ass, you know? Yeah, and I think, and my question is, do they remember, are assholes, like, phone numbers? <laughs> <laughs> I I think it might be more powerful, because think about the scent of any ex you ever had. Yeah. And you smell in the wild, you're like, hold up, Veronica? Yeah. So so these dogs are probably walking past, like, a rock, like, they're like oh, there's, <laughs> there's Geraldine. <laughs> I don't know. Geraldine's a real name. Geraldine's a real name that in Alabama, this lady came out of a lady's vagina. Mm -hmm. And then the mom, after she takes a swig of moonshine, <laughs> goes Geraldine. <laughs> and the doctor said, don't do that. You know what's kind of hot? Oh. Jolene. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? I think jo jo Jolene, Josie, I Josie. Josie is hot. I Josie's think Joe's hot. hot for a girl. Joey's hot for a girl. You just start naming dude names. No, Joey. <laughs> Joe and the, Joey? The only reason that Joey's hot is, what, what was it? <laughs> what was it? Was that fucking show about a creek? You want to fuck Dawson's Joe Rogan. Creek. Dawson's Creek, that lady named, uh, her, her name's Joey. Uh, was she a baby kangaroo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's her name? Katie Holmes. Thank you. <clears throat> Katie Holmes, I'll take that bitch home. <laughs> God damn. Speaking of lovely women, mm -hmm. uh -oh. I sent Gabe this. What I happened? discovered this on Reddit the other night. I was perusing. Dude, I get into like, I turn into like a CSI Thiami guy. When it's like, when I see an OF chick somewhere on the grid or the uh -huh, feed, uh -huh. I get determined. I like this. I go, oh, there's a link that has a little bit of caliente tones to it. That's hot. Do I say a spicy Spanish. link? Yeah. I go, oh, you have one of those. Uh-huh. Are they? Uh-huh. Somewhere on the internet. Yeah. Did somebody leak the mixtape? And you take out a whiteboard and some yarn and you figure it out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it, I mean, you can uh -huh. tap it away. And so I'm on Reddit. How long does it normally take you? I lose track of time when I'm jerking off. Are you kidding me? Hold on, hold on. When you're looking for the link, because I've done this. I've done this just because you've suggested this. Dog, I take 19 seconds. I to do, find? I do one Google. And if it don't come up, I mean, I'm done. No, that's a, that's part of the chase. That's part of the fun. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. I was perusing on Reddit. Yeah. You know, I get lost in a <laughs> subreddit here and there. And then I find this Reddit because people were using this chick. There's a Reddit. Can you pull it up, Gabe? Mm -hmm. It's called Catfish Me Please 2. I don't know what happened to the first one. <laughs> These people will post photos of chicks that they're in, like ob obsessed with or they really like or have a crush on or like yeah. fantasize about. Okay. And then they post photos of it and they'll be like, hey, can you catfish me as this woman? So essentially they'll just find photos of like a lot of like popular chicks online. There you go. Lana Rhodes. There you go. 
I'll catfish you as Lana Rose. So then people will like DM that person, be like, hey, can you catfish me and pretend to be Lana Rose? So then that motherfucker she makes oh her profile my. photo, Lana Rose. Oh! <laughs> that is the, the, oh my. Look at Jack peeking what's, up like it's Groundhog's Day, you <laughs> sick fuck. What's on her face? Elmer's. Oh. So <laughs> that person will make a profile and then like DM them like they're Lana Rhodes. And, and be they'll like, be like, oh, go. How was your set tonight? And you're like, oh my God, this can't really be Lana. And you're like, would I be lying to you, 47 year old man? This is wild. Mm -hmm. This is also Say it. sad. Yep. Well, that's why when I found this, I was like, oh no. But maybe it's nice. I love delusion. I love, I fall in love with women every day. Yes. And I, I picture a life with them. I hear you. Um, but I understand the idea of getting catfished, but the idea of being like like you uh setting up the catfish, that is what I so so you just like you just convince your brain that this is actually them? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it, it, I think I went soft after looking at this. Go yeah. to uh Catfish me as the goddess. What is it? Catfish me as my goddess Addison Ray and pump my whoa, cock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump my friend. cock is insane. It's not <laughs> your cock's not a basketball, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> pump my cock. So I just And I will across. obey you. Yeah, I just so I just stumbled across this. I mean, there's 52 people online right now. Should we um should we do one? Yes. Yes. I, I will Jack, you have homework tonight. Okay. I will uh, well let's let's <laughs> I find I just want to see how hard they go. Whoa. Yeah. I will catfish you as carrot top. It took me out of reality for a second. I was like, oh wow. Yeah, this we is are pretty intense. We're past catfishing and now we're using it as our advantage. People used to get mad. What the fuck? This isn't even you. Now they're like, oh hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like because it's just ba it's like role playing, right? But like role playing as a real person trying to convince yourself. You're literally just manti teoing your life. Did you guys <laughs> ever like do like oh I'm like sexting like computer kind of fucking role playing when you were younger? Yeah, but I was just like you know just I remember when I, I didn't was, know for sure that it was a 41 year old man that lived in uh, right Chattanooga right. It was. But the, the thought of this feels comforting. I remember being in eighth grade. I've said this on here before, I think. I would go on my buddy's AIM. I couldn't use AIM at my house for whatever reason. So I would, like, make it. And then I had, like, a few of the chicks I went to school with. And I would be like, you want to be my girlfriend for a day? Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, yeah. And then, I, then I'd look at my friend. I'm like, damn, man, I can't believe I'm in a relationship right now. Like, dead ass serious. <laughs> yeah. And hold on, hold on. What, maybe, maybe, so, I, maybe I'm not remembering. So you, you would ask, like, girls at your school? So my school or my like uh, or a different school near me, but like we like knew, uh, like I'm trying to think, we were just like aim friends. Okay, and it was like okay. either somebody the same grade as me at my school, same grade as me at a different school. Okay. For whatever reason, we were, were in the aim like the I don't even know what that list was called, but I would be like you, you'd be like four messaging, hey, how are you? Hey, so hell. girlfriend question mark for twenty four hours. I don't know why I said the bar so low. Twenty four hours. This ain't a fucking red box. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an Amazon rental. Yeah. They need to up know. that. They need to up the time. I love Amazon. I love Amazon November too. November 14th. November 14th. I love Amazon too. But when you rent it, give me more time. Because when you start <laughs> it, I get fucking nervous. Well, you're the only guy that watches movies like it's TikToks. What do you mean? You watch part one and then part two and then part three. I do. Well, you have to eat with it. And you eat three times a day. Yeah. 15 minutes. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it took me 100 hours to watch a gladiator. <laughs> So I like get the comfort of this, but man, did this take me out of my uh, horny hours when I was, yeah, touching the old John Hancock. This is the like yeah, because then it, it makes my brain go, who's using this? What is their life like? Here's the thing, also though, if this gives you some semblance of like, uh, not even hope, just like fun or entertainment or or connection of, is what I want. Yeah, good. I guess it's a form of foreplay, <laughs> and also the person on the other side probably gets off to it, too. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Because they're the in the chat, person. too. And these are all, it says on the sidebar for this subreddit that you're not allowed to sell or buy. So it's all, this is just people doing it for the love of the Charity game. work. Yeah, it's because they fucking, they want to do it, you know, so they're. What if they're practicing their catfish ability to go to the major leagues to actually catfish to get money and stuff? This little practice. Yeah. Farm league, actually. Or, you, right. again, you could hire out from this subreddit, like, if you're an OnlyFans oh, yeah. woman trying to, like, oh. have someone do that. This is where you recruit 
OF DMers. Wow. God yeah. damn it, this is crazy. But it's just like the amount of layers deep in this. Like if you yeah. think about it, you're like, I am jerking off to the thought of this celebrity, but it's this guy named Ruben yeah. in Tacoma, Washington. Like at best. Yeah. And you don't even know if that's Ruben. That's, it, not even Ruben. It could be your own dad. Whoa, that's hot. That's a movie. Okay. A guy. Yes. What did, I watched a movie at the end. It was a grand. What movie was that? We talked about it a while ago. It was a grandma catfishing some dude. Oh, um, yeah. It was a. Wasn't it? A, it was a TV show that was really buzzy. It was really yes. It was really good. And then like the last ten minutes are like, oh, it was a grandma DMing you the whole time, bitch. You think she knows how to use? Any letter on a laptop? Yes. I remember talking about it in- That Facebook movie or whatever. They were I like remember we talked about it in a <clears throat> one of our bed pods in a hotel. Yes. I, I don't remember what it was, but 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 yes. But that's a good movie where the dad, a son finds out he's being catfished and he falls in love with a woman, but yeah. that woman is his dad. And then they meet and they actually don't care and, and then, then they get married. And then they film <laughs> a porn hub shorties. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Why is that illegal? What? If they're truly in love. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are we back on the, are, oh, wow. are you, are you, are you pushing the incest plug I'm right now? I'm not pushing, I'm just saying, what if it's real love? Promo code, the South. <laughs> what? What is real love? But I, I, I'm going to, if gonna you talk feel about, love, sure. Thank you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm saying if you do that. Yeah. You can have your own opinions. You've probably piped down a Furby if I'm being honest. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that you're just like allowed to have opinions? Even if they're wrong, you're like, yeah, it's my opinion. Also, feelings are crazy because you're just allowed to feel a certain feelings way. Feelings are more normal than opinions, but opinions cause feelings. Switch it. I got it. But what I, you know what I mean? Like you're allowed, like your feelings, right? You go, you're you're making me feel angry. Okay, you're a bitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? But then the person come back and be like, I understand you that you feel like that, but like these are my feelings and I'm feeling like you're attacking me. And I'm like, yeah. But you, in your own light, your life sucks. That's why you're feeling like I'm attacking you. But I'm not doing that. It's so that. funny to say you hurt my feelings. Yeah. When was the last like time it. you snapped on somebody? I feel like you're I mean, 12 hours ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've been a little snappy recently. That's all the traveling, I think. Yeah. When you give me attitude and you spin the fucking iPad towards me, I'll rip it out of the fucking holster and I'll throw it through the window. There you go. Don't give me sass. There you go. And then spin it. Mm-hmm. Dude, what the co- Where was I? Here's I what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, next time I go to a coffee shop where they have the spinner on iPad, I'm, before I order, I'm going to super glue it. And when they go to turn it, I'm going to go, your powers are useless. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember where it was. I was literally in New York. Good place to snap. Dude, the coffee was unbelievable. I'm not going to say the name. No ad. No fucking free clout. Fuck this place. I walk in. Say it. <laughs> I hate them. I walk in. And the dude is on his phone. Where just just imagine like a hipster coffee place, and that's how he looks. Like okay, okay, got it. That's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. how he looks. Mm -hmm. I walk in, and he's and he's like per, like sideways, not facing me, sideways. Like he's getting drawn. Yes, but like profiley, right? Not drawn sketch. Undrawn well. sketch. I I said it was a second draft of a sketch. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna post a clip, guys. <laughs> you have to. I will. And he's on his phone, right? And I go, uh, I go, hey man, on his phone. Say hey man. I want to. I'll do it. I'll do it. Who am I? I? Oh, sorry. You're me. I'm the guy. I'm guy. I'm the guy. Wait, who am I? You're you're me. I'm the guy. What's my arc? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, who you am I? You think your mom's hot and you like feet? I'm Michael Blasine. You're Michael Blasine. Hey! <laughs> and I'm I got a big old dick. <laughs> and I'm the and I'm the guy no, working. Do okay. I, do, I, do I have the dog? No, no. The dogs. The dogs. Uh, what happened to her? The cotton? Yeah. She's with with my lady. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Bean. Oh, that's gotta be nice. It's it, dude, it's really nice because also It's also sad you want Gigi on the road. No, I know my she's my mother. She would have loved those nights at Taco Bell. <laughs> that's why she'd be like, I made this motherfucker. Um, I haven't seen my dog in a long time. Because of the New York run and I'm back here for a day and I'm leaving again. And so my my and my now my girl is out of town with the dog. She took Gigi on the road? Got the amount wait, of wait, wait. What in the fucking joint equity is going on with Gigi? <laughs> yeah. Where, where's Gigi? So Gigi right now, I guess, I, yeah, Gigi right now is, first of all, she's living her fucking life having a, like a goddamn girls weekend. Gigi's in Pebble Beach right now. What the fuck? Wow. Yeah, in Pebble Beach, and they're on, they're in, they're staying at a friend's house alone. They're staying at in, a what? Uh-huh. Staying at a what? Thank you. Friends. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Just imagine after everything that happened at your show. Yeah. The Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Caesar salads are the best thing in the fucking world. They're so good. I'll suck someone's cock for a table side Caesar right now. Yo, what the fuck is it when they make it by the side? I don't know. What is that? What, what is that? I don't know. Dude, you could literally make rice cakes next to my table and I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Could oh, hit, oh. you could hit me in the dick with a Timberland boot just as long as it's on the <laughs> table side. Table yeah. side gets me going. Dude, they should do table side at like weed shops and they should roll joints table side. That's actually a really good idea. Oh, and you know they use fire to cook the uh, to cook yeah, dessert sometimes? They, they light it for you. They should light it for you. They probably have a cigar one like that. There's gotta be. Yeah. Uh, Pebble Beach. Uh, well, no, you were doing, you're Michael Blastock. Oh, no, but you want to say something about Pebble Beach, and then I, oh. we need to finish YGG. I got nothing about Oh, really? Pebble Beach. I don't know. Okay, Pebble Beach. Oh, you could, hush. Uh, Pebble Beach. Uh, uh, GD's in Pebble Beach. With, right now with my lady. So, hold in on. In Pebble Beach. Go ahead. You're here for two nights. That's what I'm Lady saying. ain't here? Nope. Oh, that baby oil about to get that work. <laughs> Dude, baby oil. Wait. That baby oil about to be a dog oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you saw your lady? Uh, when did I leave for, hold on, let me do math. Uh, it's been like a... W it's been almost a week right now. Bro, that nut bag is going to be... Monumental. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I, and I didn't tell you guys this. The IUD that she got can't have the sexual intercourse with a new IUD what? for a couple days. And that couple days lined up with me leaving. So we have a three-day buffer before I even left. Mm. Yeah. Your boy backed up. Oh, you might come. I'm backed up like a fucking U-Haul truck. You hear me hey, coming? Beep, 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 beep. That's where I was going. Yeah. Pebble Beach. Um, Santa, like her, her, one of, this is convoluted, doesn't matter. Santa had a really nice house with Gigi. Gigi's living a fucking life of her God. She's doing, having the best God. time of her fucking life. She's in her house. She's living. So, uh, so I haven't and seen And you're sitting Gigi. there post-manning beef skewers. Pissed. <laughs> By herself. By myself. Um. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. You can't see your girl or your dog. I know. God. It's, yeah, dude, it is fucking, this has been the first time I've been home with no Gigi, I think, ever. Sad, right? Like, I've done I'm, that when I'm like gone for a bunch and then yeah. like Pluto's on my parents or something. I'm like, man, it's lonely up in this bitch. This just sucks. I mean, it's like, it's hey. it's fun because you don't have to do, you don't, there's no like responsibility, but at the same time, you're like, hold up. No one's throwing a ball in my face. Yeah. No one, you know, no one's whining. It's zen for a minute. And then you're like, oh man. Yeah. Okay. This is the coffee shop. I am Michael Blaustein. So you're Michael Blaustein. Back, back to the, back to the improv, right? Okay. You're Michael Blaustein. I'm the, I'm the, 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 the fucking barista. Coffee. In barista. New York, and I, this is why it's annoying to me. So he's, for people who are listening, he's sitting sideways, not facing anybody, okay? And I walk Probably in- Probably bad posture. It's bad, you're right. Yeah. He looks like the, he looks like a, a, a uh, what is it called, a shoe horse? Bitch, shoe horn? horn? No, it's on the feet, the bottom feet of a horse. A hook. Horseshoe. Horseshoe. You say shoe horse? I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. So come in. So you, so you say, I hey, you go, yeah, you go, right, hold on, you go, hey, man, what's up? Height. <laughs> no, that's mean. Oh, that's mean. All right, walking in. All right, all right. Okay. All right, hold on. So you go, so you go, hey, man, what's up? Ready? Hey, man, what's up? I just wanted to, uh, hey, what's up, man? I just wanted to, uh, get a triple espresso. What's up? Oh, uh, you don't hear me? I just want to get a triple espresso over ice. Yeah. I mean, were you playing Wordle? Dog. Was the that word was the, a fucking exchange. Was the word of the day loser? Sure. That People in coffee shops don't exchange. care anymore. And, and they're first to go with AI. The, the, here's, here's what's getting glocked by AI. Mm -hmm. Coffee shop employees. Yep. Motherfuckers that raise gates at, the, at any parking lot. That's done. President. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was the exchange. And then what killed me, everybody, is this motherfucking stupid. Here like, we go. Oh, this slinky fuck. Slinky fuck. Yeah, it was, yeah you know what I mean? Hit yeah, the person out of a lanky. fucking slinky. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mopes around, oh. but it, it comes from, it's like a Rothschild. Yeah, dude. And he's like, oh, my favorite character is Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. You're a fucking loser. You work at a coffee shop. How are you tired? Drink what you're <laughs> making. Practice what you preach. That's what I'm saying. Practice what you pour. That. Be a wholesome title if you want. <laughs> okay. 
So then this motherfucking stupid idiot. What's that? This unicycle fuck. That's what I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. This unicycle idiot finishes the drink. Doesn't he gave me one second of eye contact and gave me. He didn't even say, oh, yeah, man, no problem. I got you. Not, not even that. He literally just goes. Mm. Like. Uh, uh. Then he has the fucking audacity to flip. The iPad on me. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, what are, what's even happening? What's even happening? Did, did you? Of course I did. Would you 15%? Or did you go other? Dog, the, the lowest one is 20 now. That's what it is. 20 is crazy. For that type of shitty behavior. 20, 25, 30. I know. 20, if, if it's just a normal interaction, I got you all day. Yeah. But. That's it, dude, it's just like, I, I can't, I do not, I mean, I've said this a million times on the show, like, I don't need you to jerk me off while you're making my coffee. Mm-hmm. I don't need any of that. Mm-hmm. I just need, like, regular, like, like, basement line, just, it just manners a little. Mm-hmm. Just talk to me like I'm a human being. Like, it was like he was upset. Like, it, it was like, you ever walk into a uh, clothes store, you go, oh, fuck, I don't belong here. Like, you feel, like, weird because everyone's, like, looking at you like, why? It it feels like, why the fuck are you here? That's what it felt like. Why are you, fuck you here? And why do coffee shops always put the lid so far away? I don't like it. Bro, they fill it to the brim, and then I'm like, "Uh, where's the lid? They're like, oh, yeah, back left corner. Put it next to where I am. (laughs) Why? So I got to walk over, and it's spilling on my hand. I'm just just burning. (laughs) I'm just some fucking dumb kid, man. Wait, ah, mama, I'm not your mom. I'm not. You're trying to say I got nice tits? Kids never be knowing where their mom is. Fucking find her. Like, literally find her. Put an apple tag in her pussy, find her. <laughs> Mama, everyone get lost. You're a bad mom and you're a shit, stupid kid. Yeah. That's where I'm at. That's the platform I'm running on. That's oh, tough. Everything is fucking tough. You know what? The next goddamn day, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm at an airport. And this woman is the sweetest woman in the world. She's by herself. At like whatever, like 9 a.m., like primetime coffee time, by herself working this thing in the airport, busting that ass and crushing it. Yeah, it, it's, it's hit or miss. And, and dude, crushing it. We, like like being so nice. Oh, absolutely not a problem. Hey, you know what? Can I suggest something? Maybe you should get whatever, whatever coffee. And the person, oh, I'd love it. Tags. Just, <laughs> just crush. Dude, and alone. Yeah. Fucking alone. I, well, it's I, like, you notice that if you go to Starbucks and there's like four people working, two of which are like pretty peppy and feeling good, and the other two are just annoyed. Well, maybe it's like the end of the shift or the coffee's yeah, worn off and yeah, they're yeah. new to the shift or whatever, but yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what the hell's going on. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, if, dude, if I worked at Starbucks, I would hate people too. The of course, people man. People that course, go to dude. Starbucks. I know, I know, I know. I mean, this, I'm sure this bit's been done a billion times, but like it, people are going there to get their energy. So they're going there exhausted. So yeah. they're already. Coming, you're digging out of a hole. Every yeah. customer, yeah, you know, like yeah, you, no, you yeah. might be fired up on energy, be like feeling great. Ah, skip it up, you are fucking doing a couple of these right there. <laughs> and then some lady comes up with her goddamn bedazzled jam mug. Fill this. You're a bad human. Yeah, fill this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how people say like no shoes, no shirt, no service. Yeah, there should be like you should be able to veto one person's order a day. Yeah, that would be fucking great. You go, mm, no, not you. To be able to V, like, you have one, you know, in soccer, they have, like, the red card or whatever. Yeah. If you have just, if you as an employee everywhere, you have one red card per shift. I think you should be able to revoke one person's driver's license a day. Yeah. And if time's running out of the day and we're at the same intersection, well, sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. I bet Starbucks employees see the video camera of the cars lined up and they know by the car if they're going to be a, a shitty person or not. Volkswagen, Toreg, Taurine, whatever Tor- it is. Toreg. Toreg? Mm-hmm. Shitty person. Shitty. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But you, you, there's probably like those yeah. soccer mom Like cars. a Kia Soul, just disintegrate. <laughs> yeah. If your car is pulling up and you got the stickers on the back of the windows, not like the side windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where your kid is, uh-huh. that's that mom's going to be fired up. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. I drove past one of those today and I go, that's a man who's giving up. You know what I love? You have to. You have kids. What are you going to say? Oh, don't put that stick up there. Anything to shut them up. Dude, oh, yeah. yeah. Because I'm like, oh, look at those uh, bad parents that give the kid the iPads, blah, blah. I'm going to give my kid an edge scratch and fentanyl. I mean, literally, bro, I'm going to give my kid Jack Daniels and a fucking cigar. Mama, smoke this and shut up. <laughs> oh, dude, I found out I'm anemic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what? You really are a hot girl. <laughs> so I, w I found out about it. My dumbass comedy no! brain I immediately it was like, oh, there's so many jokes in this. Because the, the anemic is you're, you're tired and cold all the time. You That's these every too, right? woman. Yeah. I, yeah, but. So you need more iron in your diet. Yeah. You need, you need more meat. Which Somebody's is the most alpha dick, thing ever. Bro. What? Huh? More dick. <laughs> I said you want this dick. Right now? <laughs> Damn, your girlfriend really is out of town. You're fucking glazing me up, dog. Dude, I'll, dude, if I, I mean, was you, I'd drive I'd fuck a record player right now. <laughs> What noise would it make when it scratches? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. surprised you're not flying to Pebble Beach right now. I don't know where that is. It's far. Is it? Yeah. What's the one down here? The nice golf course like Newport? Uh, but Newport's pretty far too, right? I don't know. Yeah, Dude, yeah. if you're horny, nothing's far. Isn't that crazy? That is true. People fly from, from LA to Miami daily for dick. Yeah. Or cooter. Well, they get flown. <laughs> But Getting flown <laughs> and flying, different. Yeah, but I'm saying vice versa. There's there's girls that are like, oh, if you come to Miami, like you, we can hang out. I would love to walk down an aisle and just be like, just taking a random poll survey here. Yeah. What's it called when you pull a random group? Survey. survey. <laughs> I think I survey. No. <laughs> there's a better name where you get like a, uh, like 100 people. and Tell him he's anemic. No. The <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a thing. Polling? Poland's random. Isn't that random? Man, fuck y'all. There's something <laughs> in it. There's something in it where it's like if you grab a random group of uh, sampling. A yes. Sampling. Listen, it's not worth what I'm about to say, but I would love to walk down like a jet blue flight and be like, just taking a sample here. Who's getting flown out? Oh, that depends where you're on where you're going. If you're going to Cincinnati, zero. If you're going oh. to fucking Miami, if if you're if you're getting flown to LA. That is a, that's a big indicator. Yeah. I mean, that's where you should do TikTok interviews, a flight to Miami or a flight to Vegas. I think, dude, I think it's a, I really do think it's a flight to LA. Where do, what, what flight do you, or what city do you think that a, a flight is going to that has the most people are getting flown out to sit on pussy or dick? Sitting on pussy LA, is hilarious. Atlanta, <laughs> uh, Miami. There's probably some like sneaky one in there, like Vermont. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the most random one. I mean, probably any, like, pro uh, I mean, any, uh, I guarantee every flight, there's one person. Somebody going from North to South Dakota. <laughs> I don't think you have to fly. <laughs> For certain parts, you can. Dude, you know you can fly LA to San Diego? Yeah, that's crazy. Sh like, get do in you, your car. Do you even get off the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it's a green screen. <laughs> no, but do you just have... Does the flight just it's go like on? It's like a 15-minute flight, but it's like an hour wait time beforehand, if not longer. Yeah. You Uber to the airport, just like, ramp, crazy. I mean, the flight the, the flight to Vegas just glares. Yeah. It's like you hit the thing, the 10,000 feet, whatever the fuck, and you just land. It's like you hit a like a half pipe, and you're kind of just in the air, and you're just landing in a different city. I mean, I'm going to do, I will, I will not fly. Fl driving to Vegas is a nightmare. The way there is fun, because you're pumped up. Yeah. The way home, it's just six hours and your eyelids hurt and your dick kind of burns. Yeah, and you're like, what is that? And what was her or his name? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't believe you're anemic. That's very funny. What are you going to do? Do you take pills? I just found out. Like today. They were really? like, hey, well, yeah, I did. I, so for my colon, I got to do a lot of like, blood tests to make yeah, sure yeah. That, that everything's all right. And they were like, they, they was, it was like your iron levels were really low. They're getting better. But with last time you were here, it was not great. Bro, wouldn't it be so funny if you started taking like pills for that and you got your iron up to like the regular levels and then your fucking athleticism just went through the roof? Could started happen. dunking on fucking people? Could happen. Apparently there's multiple kinds. You can have a iron deficiency anemia or B12. I don't know. If they B12 you is caffeine and a lot of, so I feel like I'm a, I'm feeling like I'm topping out at B12. I think it's iron. I don't really be eating a lot of red meat. Really? No. Oh, man, I'm eating the fuck out of red meat. I'd be having... Dude, when I got blood work last time, the dude goes, hey, man, your B12 levels are pretty high. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, you sit on a fire energy. I mean, I literally just... just I mean, I don't... Look in the bottle. Do you have it on you still? Yeah. The B12 percentage is like 1,000. 
a way more. Look at the side. I already know what it is. It's 8,666,000 6, per day. Daily value. Yeah. And the extra, extra strength is more. Oh, this is the extra strength. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. You want to guess? This is the That's extra strength. That's extra? Yeah, yeah. 11,000. Dude, 20,833% daily percentage. That's a lot. And I have, I average about 1.9 per day. Of those? Yeah. What, what do you mean 0.9? Because sometimes I'll have one. And if it's show days, dog, if I have like two shows, I will have, I probably average about th around three. Okay. Yeah. If I have two shows. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. And I'm like, oh, oh I'm Parson Turner. I can't go to sleep. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. <clears throat> when I'm on the road, it's a nightmare. It's like KFC, Taco Bell, three, well, five also the energies. time difference. So you're yeah. wired in bed after these shows and it's like four in the morning. Yeah. You have a flight at six. The shitty part about coming from West Coast is everywhere is a time delay. Everything. Everywhere is different. But if you're if you're East Coast, everywhere you go, you're either on the same or you're like three hours back. Yeah. Like when I did shows in Hawaii, it's the best week of my life because they're three hours behind, behind uh, us. So like a, a 7 p.m. show is really 10 p.m. for you. So you're like, dude, I have all day. I've been up since uh, 6 a.m. counting sea turtles. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we have regular turtles and sea turtles? Just one sea turtle like 19,000 years ago was like, yo, let's get in that fucking water. He never got out. But turtles like to swim. So how, so one turtle just fuck with swimming heavy? Evolution's crazy. Built different. Plus well, tortoise. tortoise. What's a tortoise? A dry turtle. What do you mean? They're only in the desert. He don't have to, he don't get in the water? No lotion. He don't get in the water? No. Mm. If you put him in the water, do you swim? Straight to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, He's a, a tortoise turns into a rock quick He'll find the submarine real quick. Dogs always know how to swim. Isn't that crazy? A Cats dog, land on their feet. All the time, though? Alligators uh, always have erections. <laughs> Here you go again. <laughs> I thought we were doing animal facts. Yeah, but like legal ones. Uh -oh. All Jack's animal facts are which animals he can make come. <laughs> are they always erect? Yeah. Can we look that up? Why? <laughs> yeah, just look at them porn up shorts. <laughs> uh, male American alligators are always prepared. Most other because animal Americans inflate from a flaccid state, but gators keep theirs permanently erect. It's kind of cool. And that's not all. The penis shoots out from inside the animal's body and then bounces back like a rubber band. Don't like that. Have you ever seen what? the bird with the biggest penis? What? It's got, it's almost like a rope. Time. <laughs> You gotta look at it. I would love to look Ooh, at it. Oh, I hate alligator dicks. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. It. I don't know. Okay. I'll bring it up. I ain't no bitch. I haven't eaten yet. I don't have puke. I'm anemic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really under. I'm not. I don't really know what I'm looking at. That's this, it. Yeah. That's smaller than I thought. No oh, wonder they're dude, so angry. That looks like a, an airhead mystery one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What's happening? Wait. Is there? A, You're talking about this one. Yeah. Found the longest bird penis ever. Bro, is this real? That's literally a water painting. If you look at the bottom of it, it says by Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks like just Charles Darwin got horny one day and fucking had to draw something. Yeah, we it looks we like should... a bird laying it on a, on a, on a stick. It yeah, looks like a was, wine opener. This was posted <laughs> three days mind. after 9 11. <laughs> what? It was posted three days after 9 11. I wonder who had to get that up. Wow. Jack, birds aren't real. speaking duties. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, all right, guys, we have a sock talk today. This comes from Jesus, and he says, uh, I was browsing the subreddit true off my chest when I what? came across this story. What is that? Uh, it's like- Getting um, something on your chest, right? Yeah, like just people doing confessions. Oh. People doing secret socks on Reddit, basically. Okay. Oh, I didn't know what they were getting off their chest. Yeah. Um, I came across this story and wanted you guys to hear it. Um, so this is the, the post. It's uh, titled, the post is, Saving my FWB cum. Saving my friend with benefit cum. Um, I, 25 female, have my friend with benefit, 27 male, old cum stored in my drawer. Stop, we, stop right there. What the, what? But why a drawer? Not a mason jar? <laughs> like a drawer? No, no, like, on a, but like, in, like it's loose but, change? But in something in a drawer? Or is it like next to the sleep mask? <laughs> We're gonna find out. All right. Um, we had sex a month ago or so after a quote unquote date of sorts. We have monthly encounters. Uh, but monthly we did encounters it in, is nuts what to are you say. Fucking your landlord. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> uh, we did it in my car this time because, well, it just happened, I guess. 
Uh, I told him he could wrap a tissue around the used condom and that I would dispose of it later since uh, we didn't want to throw it out the window and litter the place. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm always, I will dispose of it. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll toss it. I've put used condoms tied up in my pocket. Don't look at me like what? that. Because, I don't know, I just don't want loose semen everywhere. But put it in the, flush it down the, where, where are you? Were you Her like place? in a weird place? Her, yeah, but this was, this was like, this was a while ago. This is, I just remember when, the moment I'm talking about, I was in New York. Okay. Finishing a condom, and she's like, oh, yeah. you're still in away in this trash can. Me, anxious Jew. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't I go, yeah, yeah, for sure. Tie up, put it in my pocket. Now I'm looking for my hotel keys back in <laughs> Newark. <laughs> True story. I was, I was, I remember this. This was relatively after the breakups. I was down bad, and I remember driving back. This was the first time I actually felt okay. I was driving back to New Jersey, and I That's had- a sad sentence. <laughs> it gets sadder. And I remember being in the back of an Uber at like 3 a.m., and I could see the city twinkling, and I was like, you know what? Life's all right. Yeah. And I had a pocket full of cum. <laughs> pocket full of cum in a dream. <laughs> and you were anemic. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that cum. That's why. I need my calories. <laughs> all right. You get it. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Whatever, dude. You've never fucking had a pocket full of cum? I've never had a pocket. I've, I've, no. Open up. You want to feed it to me? No. I've been eating my own cum recently. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Not okay, eating so it. Not eating it. <laughs> what, dipping chicken fingers in it? No, just licking it up and putting it in my, my girl's mouth. Sit in that. You feel that? You feel the silence? Fuck. You lick up your own semen? <laughs> yeah. You baby bird ass <laughs> bitch, Tom. Yeah. What are you? Dude, it's so hot. You Zamboni it. It's and then so give it to her. fucking hot, dude. Where's the semen in the first place? Like on her on her chest. And then you. And I'm like, uh, you ever see a like bounty a, commercial? Oh. <laughs> Bro. You, you ever see a bouncy commercial? I'm like, fucking, uh, and then I'm like, like it's a bowl of ramen and you just slurp it up and yeah. then regurgitate it onto her. And I will say this real quick. And the answer to your question is yes. I will say though, my semen tastes good. There, I, there's no taste. There's no taste. It literally, like, it, that's why I've had a, multiple women in my life be like, your semen tastes good. Because it doesn't have a taste. I was thinking it would taste a little like whatever, like a nickel or something. I just can't, especially the, the second I finish, yeah. all horniness is out of me. I so the fact you. that you get it out of you and then you beat that, it's not post re not regret mm -mm. because you love this one. You I, have a think, I think that's what it is. Oh. Because there's no, there's no post not regret. Yeah, because every time I jerk off or like the thought, I'm like, get it out of here. Oh, yeah. I, dude, when I'm, if there's like a random hookup, whatever, I'm like, I go on Zillow. I need to move. Yeah. <laughs> like, what city has a comedy scene? Yeah. Oh, it's time to leave. Maybe that's true. I think that's why. Yeah. Because I've, I've never done this. I've ne I mean, I've tasted my own semen before, but I've never, like, <laughs> I've never tasted an awful woman and fed it to her. Now, that's a hungry man. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Let's, let's, we're, we're still doing this? Yeah, we got to finish this up. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So she says... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically, she ends up with this condom, right? Yeah. And yeah. she realizes later it's in her tote bag. And so she says, I went to the kitchen to dispose of it, but I couldn't. I looked at it. It really wasn't anything I hadn't seen before. And we've been having sex for years now, but I couldn't throw it away. I stuffed it in a plastic bag and I placed it in a drawer in my room. I don't know <laughs> what possessed me to do it, but I did. Morning came and I opened the drawer and there it was. I smiled for some reason. So I kept it there for a whole month now. It's all kinds of brown, and I dread just imagining how it must smell. I'm borderline insane for this, but I can't bring myself to throw it away for some weird reason. Bro, if that guy sees that in the drawer, he is going to get a restraining order. Yeah. Also, she writes like Robert Frost, but it's, it's kind cum. of It's like... Yeah. No, it's like it's like eloquent writing. Uh, last, I, I can picture vividly. Yeah. The last, last uh, piece of vivid writing, she says, is we've had sex a few more times since, but it feels so strange. If he knew what I did, he would probably freak out. Now I've been asking him to finish on my face or on my belly, but every time he does, my mind wanders off and the brown fungus infested baggie permeates my thoughts. Dude, what? Who is? Dude, literally, someone this send this to, to like a, I don't even know, the peng, penguin it. or whatever the fuck. Penguin. Maybe like a TLC. A what? A TLC? The learning Channel? Yeah, no, learning I'm saying like she needs to get published. Oh, okay. 
like the Penguin Publishing Company or yeah, whatever? Penguin, oh, yeah, Penguin. Yeah. yeah. Numbers. Like that's... <laughs> <laughs> Saying a book did numbers. It did, did. Every book is a New York Times bestseller. I know that's crazy. You know, motherfuckers I, sell one book like New York Times bestseller. Yeah, because nobody's selling books. Yeah, Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> I mean, he's made millions off a fake red dog. Someone I know we're so deep in this episode, but I just need to say this. I'm gonna forget. Someone in the meet and greet had an idea for us that it's a for real a good idea. Let's talk about it on Patreon. Okay, what would you do? If you found out like a, a like if you were like hooking up a girl randomly and then all of a sudden you found out like you were like oh uh, where's the tissues and you open the thing and there's like a bag of your own semen and it's labeled Trevor Wallace semen so you know exactly what it is. Did she spell my name right? Yes. Oh man, no, I'm very freaked out. Yeah. I'm freaked out. I'm thinking yeah. the worst thing. I'm thinking she's yeah. gonna you know trying to get prego with it. Mm -hmm. I'm weirded out. Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm weirded out, and I I would love to like, I would love to like get her on a call and be like, what possessed you to do that? Mm -hmm. What if you like, all right, you you finish, you go to the bathroom, go pee, and you come back in, and she's like just shoveling it in. Are you having a conversation with her right there about it? Or are you leaving? Who like you got? I mean, for do I know her at all? Yeah, she's the love of your life. Love of my life? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't I don't care. <laughs> If it's like a like a girl that I just like met after a show and she's like shoveling in there, mm -hmm. I'm literally going down there and going <laughs> and trying to suck it, <laughs> suck, suck it back out. What's it called when you try to get gas for free? Yeah, <laughs> siphoning. Yeah. You think siphoning, anybody's ever siphoning? Siphoning semen. Title. Title. With one second left on the shot clock. Title. <laughs> Do you think anybody's ever siphoned their own semen out of a vagina? Like, hey, 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 I get you pregnant. I, I mean, yes. A million percent. Yeah, a million. Because I'm going to go down on you. Why are you wearing a snorkel? <laughs> yeah. I have a Hoover vac. <laughs> the amount of people that have finished inside of a suck, suck vacuum is crazy. I don't think it's what, Gabe? <laughs> no, that's crazy. We'll get the Never mind. All right. Keep going. Write it down. Oh, oh, if I, if there's a, if, yeah. oh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, Current girl, yeah, go. Current girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, you open the drawer. Oh, fuck. And she goes, oh, I just want to remember. It's the first condom we ever used. Oh, man. I'd have to sit down. We'd have to have a very long conversation. I'd be like, get a scrapbook. See, Why is it in the drawer? That's where it's going. In the scrapbook? Mm -hmm. Doesn't need any tape. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically. I, realistically, I'm like, yo, we, this is. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be really honest with you. This actually freaks me out. This is the first thing you've ever done that freaks me out. Mm -hmm. um, I need you to walk me through why this is existing here, because because I don't want to have those feelings right now. But I need and then you. What if she goes, Michael? You're overreacting. It's to add to the other wall, and then she pulls out a giant sheet, and it's yeah. every man ever, and then you're next to it, and the top one says Emmett Smith. <laughs> You go, Dick Kembe Madama. Oh, yeah. His condom used two spaces. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not even about the condom, it's about the person who would do that type of thing. Dude, you know who should be a spokesperson for plan B? The Kembe Madumbo. Didn't he have sex with like, <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. I thought it was gonna get a big laugh. I, no one gave a fuck. I don't know sports. Do you know sports? Yeah. To Kembe Matumbo? When he blocks a shot, he waves his finger back and forth. Yeah. Should be for plan B. Because Plan B, but more for the IUD <sighs> than That'd Plan be, B. IUD would be good. Do IUDs need marketing, or they're just like everybody no, knows? Rushing. But you've never seen a commercial. Every commercial in the world is about a guy's dick not working. But there's not one IUD commercial. Do they just not need the marketing? I don't know. I think there probably is an IUD commercial. Yeah, they probably, you probably don't see it because it's probably on like, it's like super targeted on like Hulu true crime shows or something. You know what I mean? Like very like. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Secret Sock. Uh, anonymous submission says, uh, it was time to release the demons, as Michael says. I look over and I see the vacuum cleaner. What? This is. When I got the bright idea of sticking my cockiest Maximus in the vacuum. I cleaned the hole, got rock hard, inserted it, and turned it on. And boy, let me tell you, there's, I nutted so fucking hard no, that I got a leg no cramp. Way. No. There's no way. I, there's the no leg way. cramp I get, but there's <laughs> no, there's no way that that. Because it's just, could, it just like it feels good if a girl's sucking because it's like different pressure and it's going up and down or whatever. But just one setting of suck. 
Mm, I could see if it's like, all right, if it's pushing kind of against the skin there and kind of got a little bit of ball sack in it and it's kind of pulling. Oh, a ball? You put, you're putting your balls in there? Yeah, just like the kind of the, the fucking... Dude, imagine what if being... some dude doesn't know how to do it and he has, you know, the, the, the one that you push and he puts his cock on the ground and just fucking does this on his cock. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like carpet. But like imagine being the mom in the next room. It's like, oh, thank God. Steven's doing his chores. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, damn. He's bald deep in a Dyson. Title two? We have to talk about Soft it. Soft title. That. Soft title. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, he said, uh, rest assured that was the one and only time I did that. Love the podcast. You're Always liar. keep up the good work. <laughs> no one would ever say that. He's doing it every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't just do that once. But, oh, that felt great. Never yeah. again. Yeah. You know those, like, you know those little vacuums? What are they called? Dirt dusters? Mm -hmm. The dirt, dirt devils. Devil, yeah. The dirt little devils. one? He has one underneath his mattress. He probably sits on that. Huh, that would feel good. I, I just want to know the friction and how he. It's not. It's unless can't it's be a good. small hole and he like lubed it up. But why is this just one suction? How does that make you come? Unless he's going like this with it. Probably. Unless he's like fucking that. it. Yeah. Yeah. He he does not um give us any more details than that. Well, he's in prison, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hard. Is that an is that, episode? Is that an episode? That was an episode. Wow. This was. I mean, this one journey. Was, was was full of chock full of emotions, mm -hmm. the ups, the downs, the lefts and rights. You know, we learn about life. We learn about Dysons. We learn that you you have anemic issues. Mm -hmm. We hate all coffee people. Yeah, this is just oof. What a what an episode. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and listening. And Jack, it's hard to Nat Geo. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Nat Geo had tits, dude. <laughs> all right, guys, I got a big old dick. That's it. Love you. Bye.